Hi, welcome to yet another tutorial of GAS software. In this tutorial, we'll see how to enter the invoice of HPCL, IOCL and other private oil companies distributors. Before I proceed, would like to bring to you your notice that this tutorial is not meant for BPCL Bharat Gas customer for whom there is a separate tutorial, you may kindly refer the same. We proceed. Option data entry, option purchase, option new button. Please refer the invoice. This is the invoice of HPCL, which is dated 22nd June. We enter the date here. The received date is also the same in this case. However, in your case, if it is different, maybe 23rd, 24th, kindly change this to the received date. The invoice number, that is the document number, you have to enter in the field of bill number. In this LPG purchase box, kindly click a pop-up window will appear with different cylinder items wherein you have to enter the quantity that is 342 for 14 kg and 24 cylinders for 19 kg the empty return cylinders will appear automatically kindly click save now the, both these items have appeared here but without rate. So now we have to calculate the rate from the invoice. We calculate the rate from the taxable value. The total After the total value column appears the discount column and after deducting the discount comes the column of taxable value. We have to pick up this rate from the taxable value. So in this case, it is 242353.38 for 14 kg cylinder divided by 342 quantity, which gives you 708.6356. We have to copy this rate up to four decimals and input. Yeah. We also need to update this rate which we have calculated just now in item master. So option masters, option items, modify, double click 14 kg and in the purchase rate column kindly enter the same rate which we have calculated and click save. Now we proceed for the 19, calculate the 19 kg cylinder where the value is 24,012.12 divided by 24 cylinders amount is 1,000.5050 we copy this and input it enter it here. We also need to update the 19 kg cylinder in the item master. So we enter the purchase rate in the item master. This is been done so that we need not have to calculate the rates Every time we enter the purchase invoice, it is stored in the item master and next time it will pick up these rates automatically, which saves us the time of calculating the rates every time. Now one item is re remaining, that is the TCS tax collected at source. Now this TCS account we have already created in account master. How to create this TCS account is explained in a separate tutorial 
kindly refer the same. Click this plus sign. Here you see these three dots. Click this. Go to accounts and select TCS. Click OK. OK. Twice. Then press the enter key. A pop up will window will appear stating enter amount click ok and in the amount column enter the TCS amount the TCS amount is given on the invoice it is in the footnotes net amount includes TCS 282.8166 282.8 you can round off and write 82 Instead of 8166, there is space only for two decimals here. Enter, press enter button. Now, if you see the amount is around rounded off, and the amount appearing here is 2 like 83,088.00. However, in the invoice, the amount is not rounded off and appearing as 2830888.17 if you want the same amount over here you have to adjust the out of amount 0 0.0.01 0 .0 well now you will see both the amount in the invoice as well as on the on this option purchase per page is telling so click save button and save this record. Now go to option sale purchase stock report, option purchase register, show report. You will find the details of this particular invoice appearing here. However, the details are only the amount. It is not giving the details of the items that is the type of cylinders and the quantity for which you have another option sales purchase stock option sales purchase stock report option item wise purchase report click that click show report here you will find the items the quantities and everything in detail well with this we are through with the tutorial Thanks for sparing your valuable time.